country. Musical musings, musical musings, musical musings, musical musings. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to our first episode of Musical Musings, airing every Wednesday at 1 p.m. This program is broadcast from Ratchamakan University of Technology, Pranakan. This program is in two parts. The first part will introduce a song and discuss its main themes, what it's about. Then we will listen to the song and analyze the lyrics, looking especially at difficult vocabulary, slang, idioms, anything that may be hard to understand. Then we'll have news and the latest updates from the university, as usual. Musical musings, musical musings, musical musings, musical musings. Before we begin our episode, let me introduce myself, your host for this show. I'm Gary Gray, an English teacher here at RMUTP in the Liberal Arts Faculty. I'm from America and have been teaching here at RMUTP for six years. As far as I know, I believe I'm the only native English speaker here at the university. I'm pleased to be representing that here on the RMUTP radio station. So let's get to our program. Musical Musings. For our very first episode, we're going to start off with a song that almost everyone in Thailand is familiar with. We're going to listen to and talk about the song, Take Me Home, Country Roads, by John Denver. This song has also, has also been recorded by many other performers but most of us are familiar with the song as it's performed by John Denver. Before we listen to this song, let's first talk about its basic meaning. You can guess by just the name of the song that it's about being homesick, wanting to go home. Take me home, country roads. Take me home is easy to understand. The singer is asking to be taken home. But what are country roads? What does that mean? The word country we usually think of as a nation. For example, Thailand, the United States, Cambodia, Laos, Japan, Canada, China, those are countries. But country has a different meaning too. Country can mean a rural area. It's short for countryside. Now, maybe rural and countryside are tricky too. Think about small towns and villages far outside the city where not a lot of people live. That's how we're using country roads here. It means a small road out in a rural area where it's quiet, peaceful, and has a lot of nature. Since we're talking about music here, just think about country music. That's what country means there too. Country music, a lot of times, is about trucks and farming and just life in rural areas. It's a different culture in those areas than in the cities. Even relationships can be different, and you'll get a lot of country music songs that are about feelings and relationships. Life is just different in the country, in the areas far outside the cities, surrounded by nature. In fact, that's where I grew up. I grew up in an area that you would call country. It was out in nature. We had many farms and fields and things like that. Okay, so you probably know that this song also talks about a place called West Virginia. That's a state in America. And it's a state which has no big cities. So it has a lot of those rural areas, 
Lots of mountains, fields, nature. I actually had a cabin on a river in West Virginia. It's a beautiful state with lots of trees, rivers, mountains, and wildlife. So, there are a lot of country roads in West Virginia. You should also be aware that sometimes in English, we refer to non-human things using human pronouns or words. What do I mean by that? Okay, so when the song uses the word her, all my memories gather round her, her means West Virginia. Also in the chorus, it talks about mountain mama. Mama is like a word for mother. But this is also talking about West Virginia. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of mountains in West Virginia. And by the way, when I talk about the chorus, I mentioned the chorus, it talks about Mountain Mama. So when I mention the chorus, the chorus is the part of the song that repeats. So in this song that I think all of you know, when it has the part that goes, Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. That is the chorus. Now, before we get to the song, just a little bit about John Denver, the person that's singing this song, and he's famous for singing this song. This song is actually very typical of John Denver's style. So what is the style of this song? It kind of sounds like country music. It kind of sounds like folk music, right? Well, an important thing to remember about music is that it's art. It's creative. You can do whatever you want with it. So these genres aren't always clear. A genre, by the way, means a style or a category of art. And we use it for all types of art. For example, for movies, horror, drama, comedy, action-adventure. Those are genres of movies. For music, there's classical, rock, heavy metal, country, folk, pop, jazz, and many more. So Take Me Home, Country Roads, and a lot of John Denver songs are a combination of folk and country. Some of his songs lean a little more one way or the other. And he even has a few songs that are a little more rock and roll. Those are usually what we call soft rock. John Denver doesn't do much that we would call hard, hard rock, or heavy metal. There's not a lot of heavy music with a lot of electric guitar, bass guitar, and drums. But still, there's enough of that, so it does move into the rock category. So John Denver does do a little bit of that. But most of his songs are nice, light songs. But they do drift into other genres sometimes. That means that if you're struggling to figure out whether today's song is folk or country, that's fine. Don't worry. It's really both. Don't ever get too hung up on song genres. Sadly, John Denver has already passed away. He'd be 79 now, but he died at the age of 53 in 1997. He was killed in a plane crash. He actually had his pilot's, pilot's license, so he was flying his own plane. It was a strange accident because he was a very experienced pilot. However, he was flying a new plane 
with some switches in places he wasn't really used to. The plane had two fuel tanks, one was empty, and the switch to change over to the other fuel tank wasn't in the place it would normally be on the other planes that he was used to flying. So maybe he didn't know where the switch was. We don't really know because unfortunately he died, so we can't ask him. Uh, But the switch to the other fuel tank was not where it would normally be. So he didn't switch to the other fuel tank. And the plane ran out of fuel. And so it crashed just off the coast of California. It was very sad because John Denver was extremely famous and loved by many. And that's really because he was just a good person, not just because of his music. He was a good person who donated a lot of his time and money to good causes, especially charities that helped out the environment. And when we come back, we'll analyze the lyrics. Musical musings, musical musings, musical musings, musical musings. Okay, welcome back to our program, Musical Musings. You've just listened to Take Me Home, Country Roads by John Denver. In the first part of our program, we talked about a basic overview of the song and its singer. We talked about how this song is about the natural beauty of the state of West Virginia. And we talked about how nature and the environment was a real passion of John Denver's. So now, let's break down the lyrics more and make sure you understand the English in the song. Sometimes English can be weird. We can use words in ways that don't really match their exact meaning. We talked about this earlier with the word country. There also might be some cultural references in the song that you don't understand. So let's jump right in. Right away. The first line, almost heaven, West Virginia. Heaven is the place where good people go after they die, at least according to some religions. But in English, we also use this word to describe places here on earth. Why? Why do we do this? Because heaven, when we talk about it with religion... It's a perfect place. Like I said, it's where good people go after they die. So it's perfect. Of course, no place on earth is perfect. But that's exactly the point here. The lyrics are exaggerating a little bit because West Virginia is as close to perfect as you can get. It's like heaven. That's why it says almost heaven. Now, to be honest, in reality, there are a lot of problems in West Virginia. As I told you, I used to have a home there. I've been there many times. It's very poor, and as beautiful as its nature is, some of the ways people make money there is by exploiting the nature and damaging it. We'll see that a little later in the song when it talks about mining. So, West Virginia is really far from heaven. But as we talked about in the first part of the program, John Denver really focuses on the natural beauty. And West Virginia certainly is very beautiful. Okay, moving on. Almost heaven, West Virginia... Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. All right, these are just names. There's nothing too confusing here. I told you there are a lot of mountains in West Virginia. They're called the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's just the name. And there are a lot of rivers in West Virginia. But one of the biggest ones is called the Shenandoah River. 
That's a weird name. Shenandoah? What does that mean? Well, it's weird because it's not really English. That's not an English name. It comes from the native tribes from America. It's actually not even known for sure where it came from or what it means exactly. Some people have some ideas, but we don't really know for sure. But what we do know is that it does come from native languages. It is not English. So if that name sounds weird, don't worry. It should sound weird. It's not English. It is a Native American word, Shenandoah. Okay, the next line is pretty easy to understand. Life is old, they're older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Okay, older than the trees, younger than the mountains. Makes sense. People have lived there, the Native people, for thousands of years. That's older than the trees. But the mountains have been there for millions of years. So, life there is younger than the mountains. Then, blowing like a breeze just means that it goes along slowly, freely, and nicely. A breeze is like a light, gentle wind. All right, so next we jump into the chorus. Remember, the chorus is the part of the song that repeats itself. The first line is, Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. There isn't much confusing here either. We already talked about how the word country is used. The only words in this line that could be a little confusing is the use of the word belong. If something belongs to you, it means you own it. So like your phone, your phone belongs to you. So the place he belongs means that the place, West Virginia, owns him. He's not saying West Virginia belongs to him. He's saying he belongs to West Virginia, the place he belongs. So West Virginia owns him. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How can a place own you? Well, what he means here is that the place owns his heart. In other words, he loves it there. This is a very normal phrase in English. To say you belong somewhere, it means that that is where you're meant to be. It's where you're supposed to be. It's where you feel good and comfortable. Okay, so now we get to the second verse. All my memories gathered round her, miner's lady, stranger to blue water. Okay, her and lady refer to West Virginia. Remember, I mentioned that earlier. So all of his memories are about West Virginia. He has so many great memories there. That makes sense. But what about this second part? Miner's lady, stranger to blue water? What does that mean? Okay, this is a cultural thing that you may not understand. Coal mining is a huge industry in West Virginia. Miner's lady. Coal mining. Miner's lady. And a lot of the waste from coal mining, like dirt, mud, sand, whatever it is, they just throw it into the river. It goes into the rivers. So the water is dirty. There's no clear blue water. Saying someone is a stranger to something means they're not familiar with it. They don't have it. So West Virginia, with all of the dirty river water from the mining, is a stranger to blue water. Okay, the rest of that second verse, 
Dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye. All right, dark and dusty is likely referring to the coal mining again. The mines are very dark and dusty. Painted on the sky, that line is a little tricky. I'm not even 100% sure what he means there. But coal does produce a lot of smoke. So it's probably talking about the smoke in the sky. Misty taste of moonshine. This is another cultural reference. What in the world is moonshine? Moonshine is illegal alcohol, which is very famous in parts of America, especially places like West Virginia. Describing the taste as misty is weird. Mist is a very damp, light rain. To use it to describe a taste, that would seem like a soft, gentle taste. But moonshine is a very harsh, strong alcohol. John Denver might have just been going for a nice, sweet sound for the song. So it may not actually refer to the moonshine, really. It may just be a way to make the song nice and soft. Okay, finishing off that verse, teardrop in my eye, is equally a little hard to understand. What's he talking about here? The harshness of the moonshine or the dustiness of the coal could cause your eyes to tear up. Or... Maybe he's getting back to just missing West Virginia, causing his tears to build in his eyes. It's a little hard to tell. Um, but that's the line, teardrop in my eye. So it's a little hard to tell exactly what he means there. But it could be, it could be the moonshine or the dust, or maybe he's just missing West Virginia. All right, then the song goes back to the chorus and then to a section of song that we call a bridge. It basically connects two parts of the song, like a bridge does. It connects two places. The bridge is, I hear her voice in the morning, now she calls me. Radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Then it goes back to the chorus. Okay, so hearing her voice in the morning isn't literal. Literal means that it means exactly what it says. So I'm saying this is not literal. So it does not mean exactly what it says. It means that in the quiet and beauty of the morning, I hear her voice in the morning how she calls me. So it means that in the quiet and beauty of the morning, it reminds him of West Virginia. Again, her means West Virginia there. The radio reminding him of his home just means the type of music. If you know about John Denver, you would know that he lives in the mountains of Western America a place called the Rocky Mountains. That's why he uses the last name Denver. Denver is a city in Colorado in the United States, which is in the Rocky Mountains. Denver is not actually his real last name. So he lives in the Rocky Mountains, which is in the western part of America. West Virginia, despite its name, West Virginia, is actually in the eastern part of America in a different mountain area. But the cultures are similar because they're both mountain areas. The music and things like that are similar because West Virginia and the Rocky Mountains, which are far away, are very similar areas. So the music he hears in the Rocky Mountains reminds him of West Virginia. 
And of course, the mountain roads would also be similar. So driving down the road reminds him of West Virginia as well. That's why he sings that driving down the road makes him feel like he should have been home in West Virginia yesterday. And in English, when you say something should have been done yesterday, it means that it should have been done already. So he's saying that he wishes he was in West Virginia now. So that's what we mean when we say in English that, oh, well, this should have been done yesterday. It means it should have already been done. So it should already be finished now. So when he says he should have been home yesterday, it means he should be home now. All right, we've been through the whole song. I hope I've helped you better understand the meaning of the song. There are a lot of cultural references talking about mining and moonshine. There are English oddities, like using her to talk about West Virginia. My hope with this program is that when we finish up, you have a better appreciation for the songs we're listening to. Next time you hear Take Me Home, Country Roads, I hope you'll be able to enjoy it with a new level of appreciation. Thank you so much for joining me this week. That's all for today's Musical Musings program. Please stay with us and tune back in next week for another song. And please subscribe to our channel. Musical Musings Musical Musings Musical Musings